Today we're joined by our new head coach for Kennesaw State Women's Golf, Aaron Thorne. Coach, welcome to Kennesaw State. We're excited to have you lead our championship program for women's golf here at KSU. Fairly new on the job. You've been here for a few weeks. What stood out in your first experiences here at KSU? Yeah, and thanks. Really excited to be here and part of the Owl Nation and uh, looking forward to the success to continue, continuing uh, for our women's golf team. Um, you know, just uh, what kind of attracted me during the interview process has, you know, continued since I got here on campus and is, you know, providing the, the students with a great experience and, and coupling that with, you know, winning, mm -hmm. um, which as a competitor, I think those two go hand in hand. Well, you've already made an effort to reach out to our women's golf team. What's been your approach to reaching out to the team? Yeah, I mean, right now, just doing one-on-ones just to get to know them, um, them get to know me, um, and then introduce this idea that I'm going to have as kind of our theme for the year of compete with. Um, obviously, the great success that they've had over the last few years, they, they get it that they need each other to win the ASUN, go to regionals, and, and make it past regionals. Um, and so we're just going to really enhance that uh, idea and expand it not only on the golf course, but you know, off the golf course too, to really build in that caring kind of culture that, that we really want here. Well, going off of that, Coach, you said to begin with, we've got our sights set on bigger goals here yeah. at Kennesaw State. What are those goals? Yeah, I mean, you know, again, they've won the, the ASUN three years in a row, so that's something we want to continue to do. Um, I know that they were really excited about the, the region that they were put into this past year, and unfortunately with the, the weather, you know, they didn't even get a chance to tee it up, but, uh, you know, making it past regionals for certain in, in these first couple years, and then continue to build so that we're playing in the match play, and, you know, hopefully at one point holding up that national championship trophy. Fantastic. You're a competitor yourself. You've played the game for quite some time. What's been your history with the game of golf as far as being a competitor? Yeah, I mean, I went and played uh, my college years at Western Michigan um, and then tried to chase down the tour for a couple years. Didn't quite work out. Um, you know, probably, probably going at the wrong time when uh, economics crashed and, and the LPGA started to try and go worldwide and, and the uh, Americans weren't quite ready to venture into all, all the other different countries and so actually um, a few tour events that you know we saw some of the big names I actually played in a group with Paula Kramer one time and, and that sort of thing so you know still trying to get my footing in the professional game against those seasoned veterans uh, it was tough um, but that led me back to you know heading back to Canada you know getting my full class A uh, uh, standard in the PGA of Canada teaching and coaching and, and then found my way to a grad assistant position um, at Ohio Dominican University in Columbus, Ohio. Um, and then after a year there, was able to land the job at Wingate for the last seven years and, and now taking the step here. Um, and, you know, in that time, I still try and compete myself. Uh, you know, I've tried to qualify for the U.S. Women's Open a, a number of times um, when I can uh, go and play in the PGA of Canada Women's Championship as well. Mm. How does that experience, your playing experience and, and still keeping up with the game right now, help you as a coach? Yeah, I think, again, just with the, the changes that you're seeing both in the men's and women's game, that distance is such a massive part. Um, you know, it, it keeps me, you know, going to the gym and, and understanding that I got to continue to develop my explosiveness and, and that sort of thing. And, you know, that, that gives the, the team an understanding as well that I get it, you know, that the gym is important as well. Um, you know, also developing strategies, you know, so again, I, I can be the, the guinea pig uh, before, you know, presenting anything to the team, you know, does it work for, for a high caliber player or is it just kind of fluff that's out there? Um, you know, so again, it's, it's using, using my own skill set and testing it under the pressure of a tournament before presenting it to the team. Well, coach, you had quite a run at Wingate University, a three-time SAC Coach of the Year, All-Americans medalist, conference championship, so uh, you took a team, ranked pretty low, brought them up to a top 25 program. What was key in building a program and sustaining success at Wingate? You know, first and foremost, it's it's developing that, that culture of caring about each other um, and then recruiting great people that want to buy into that culture. Um, you know, not only being able to shoot great scores, but, you know, being able to, again, compete with pulling maybe the weaker players along so that they're going and practicing more um, or just exposing them to, you know, as, as a high caliber player, hey, yeah, this is what coach is saying and this actually does work. Sometimes, you know, hearing it from your peer rather than a, a boss or a coach mm -hmm. um, sets in a little bit better. So those are two of the really big things of, you know, finding people that want to care about each other, obviously players that can shoot the good scores um, and, and, and go from there. 
Well, Coach, I've got an idea about you and your program. Who's Aaron Thorne off the golf course and outside of being a coach? Yeah, I mean, I'm just an active person in general. I've got a, a schnauzer, he's four years old, so I mean, obviously got to walk him a few times a day and that sort of thing, go on some adventures. Um, but you know, like one, one of the things that was uh, a really pleasant surprise when I came for the interview was this area reminds me very much of Bracebridge where I grew up with the lake and, and just the nature and, and that kind of thing. So, you know, I've, I've actually just bought a, a paddle board so I can go out on the lake just kind of like I did back home with my kayak and, and that sort of thing. So, you know, just getting out and being active. Well, Coach, we look forward to seeing you out and about this summer <laughs> and then on the links here in the fall, starting out as the head coach for KSU Women's Golf. Coach Thorne, congratulations. Welcome to Kennesaw State. Thank you.